Same as um, Bax calculation for asphaltene calculations, a fluid must be characterized and also tuned. We have showed how we can characterize a fluid using the SARA analysis data for asphaltene calculations and how you can tune the model, tune the PC soft parameters using the AOP or titration or saturation data. So when you have um, characterized and tuned the model, you can use those fluids to perform three different calculation modules. The only thing I want to uh, point out here is that you need to remember that um, you can use an as uh, only characterized fluid for these calculations, but the results won't be reliable. You need to remember that you need to tune the model using the experimental data so that the asphaltine predictions be, be reliable. So let's imagine that you have um, characterized and tuned a fluid. So you can predict the upper and lower asphaltine onset curve as well as the asphaltine points. So the asphaltine points, and by upper, I mean the asphaltine uh, formation conditions, pressure or temperature. And by upper, I mean the pressure and temperatures higher than the bubble line, and the lower is the temperature and pressures lower than the bubble line in two phase or three phase. So you can either predict the onset point, temperature, pressure, and it gives you the phase equilibrium at those conditions as well as the onset point, or you can predict the line, which includes all the points of a range of pressure or temperature, lower onset points or higher onset points. Uh, onset points. Uh, so you have you can have two figures in the PT diagram. One is the upper onset line, as well, one is the lower uh, onset line. The other one is that if you have in a, at, at at conditions where asphaltine are stable, then you can predict how much asphaltine you will form in the system, and what is the composition of the asphaltine phase. So, it, this asphaltine content um, module can predict the asphaltine content at given temperature or pressure. Or, if you want to calculate the precipitation curve of a range of um, temperature and pressures, you can use these uh, modules, which basically align or a series of asphaltine content calculations. But this one is a graph, is a curve, over a, a given ranges of temperature and pressures. Okay, now we talked about um, asphaltine modeling the presentation. Now let's perform some asphaltine modeling um, using, uh, perform some calculation modeling in, in HydroFlash. Um, as I explained before, before performing any asphaltine calculation, you need to characterize the fluid using the SAR analysis. Without SAR analysis, you won't be able to perform the tuning or perform any other calculation uh, modules. And then as soon as you characterize the fluid, you need to tune the model using um, the tune the PC staff parameters uh, so that you, you get um, uh, reliable results. And for tuning, you would need um, a reliable experimental data onset data, saturation data, titration data, any any data that can be useful for asphaltine modeling and tuning the model. So let's start with asphaltine onset calculation. You have three, uh, two other calculations, which is asphaltine content and precipitation care, which we, I will explain later. Um, as you can see, like other calculation modules, you have a drop down menu here which you can choose the fluid you want to perform the calculation for. Um, let's choose this one. You see, you have you get two LED lights here. You have two LEDs. One is green and one is um, red. The green one, it says that fluid is characterized because if I choose a not SARA characterized fluid, you get a red light, which means that you can you are not able to perform any asphaltine calculation. But if I choose a... 
<coughs> a fluid that has been characterized with using SARA analysis. I get the one green light which is a fluid uh, is characterized. But still, I get one red light which it says that model is not tuned. I can still perform the modeling, but the, but the predictions will not be reliable because I haven't tuned any parameter with. with. So I have two other um, options here for um, units for the temperature and pressure. I'm happy with it. And then you get two points and two, sorry, two checkbox here, one point and one line. And the point you get a T search and P search. For T search, you enter the pressure and it will tell it will predict the asphalting onset temperature and for p search you enter uh, the temperature and it will predict the asphalting onset pressure also you have um this drop down menu which is upper aop and lower aop the upper aop is um the aop the asphalting onset point above the the uh, above the um the board uh, the bubble line and the lower aop is the onset point below the bubble line okay so that's good now uh, in the line again you can specify whether you want to perform a t search or p search but this time instead of the point that you need to enter one point one temperature one pressure in line you need to enter a range as well as the whether you want an upper AOP or a lower AOP line and also the uh, the incremental step so okay let's perform <coughs> I'm sorry an asphaltine onset line an upper asphaltine onset line um, for um, for this fluid although it is not uh, tuned but I just want to show you that uh, what would there be the results for only the characterization Okay, so let's calculate the isolating hydro phase boundary between 0 degrees and, for example, 200 degrees. That's fine. And I press run. Um, now the progress bar is showing that uh, software is calculating. As always, you have this um, unit uh, tabs uh, that you can um, change the preferred uh, units for these parameters and the calculations although it's um, it says that cpa is active but as i mentioned several times for asphaltine calculations the um the and thermodynamic engine is pc -SAF. now i have the phase uh, upper asphaltine phase boundary um here which shows that the temperature is quite high because it's not reliable but it's something but now let's tune this characterize with um, an experimental data. Okay, so for this fluid, I have this experimental data. So at 154, 45, sorry, and 200 bar is the measured AOP. It's an upper answer data. I know it is upper answer data. And then I just need to tune the model. And it's done. So I, I can see the parameters here. And the AID, I'm happy with the objecting function is quite low, is 0.007%, is quite good. And then I'm happy with the name here, so I just call this AOP tuned and I add this to the database. Okay, let's go back to the Asphaltine. Now you get two green lights. So um, notice that for this one, which is only characterized, you only get one green light, which is for characterization, and you get one red light, which is for tuning. But for this one, you get two green lights because the model has been characterized and now has been tuned. So you get two green lights, and uh, the result, the predictions will be reliable. So again, I want to perform a, an upper onset line uh, calculation for the exact same range, and then I press run. Okay, now I want to compare them. As you can see, the tuned model is very, very different from the untuned model. So if I want to know if the tuning was okay, 
and successful. Now I entered my experimental data here. 145 degrees and 200 bar and as you can see because the model has been tuned with experimental data it represents this specific experimental data so that will be my prediction and then i can calculate the lower onset as well so i just increase the temperature a little bit and then perform a lower <laughs> So this is my lower and this this will be my bubble line this is the bubble line and this is the upper and this is the lower phase boundary and then you can see this uh, and in the same graph as always you have these options to work with these graphs it's universal in hydro flash and then fit to view add points and as as i did just here convert the units and remove any graphs you don't want or also you can export the data to an Excel file and export an image. And also you have these values here, which you can copy, you can export, or you can save them on the database. Okay. Now this is line. Now let's calculate some point. And so if you remember, my experimental temperature was 145. And I want to know what is the upper on set point prediction for this temperature and I press run. And as you can see, the, uh, the predicted on set pressure is 200 bar, 200 bar which means that um, for um, the tuning was successful and now the model has is representing the experimental data and now the results are reliable. Also, also it tells you how much is the asphalt team in the precipitate. So if actual asphaltine phase forms, how much in that phase will be actually asphaltines based on the cell analysis? Because we have characterized the fluid using the cell analysis, and in this asphaltine region, the weight percent asphaltine will be 91%. Also, you will have the, um, the content in the asphaltine phase because it's very high um, pressure, to 200 bar, you will have some light components in the system as well, because it can dissolve in light components, methane, but mainly the precipitate is asphaltine. Its molar percent is around 40%, and weight percent is quite high. And as you can see, the uh, calculation preference, the equation of a state is PC soft, the gross asantoski um, version of PC soft. Again, you can save this to database, you can export it to an Excel file, or you can co uh, convert it to um, a unit. So for pressure search, that will be the same. I enter the pressure, I enter for exponential data, and it gives me the temperature for the tuned model. But if I choose this SARA characterized one, and I press model, it doesn't converge, because at this condition, that model doesn't work. Okay, so let me close this calculation and keep this file. And then, so imagine that you you have calculated the uh, asphaltine onset, and asphaltine onset, like the high date phase, high date phase boundary or wax phase boundary, is a line that divides the PT diagram into two regions. <coughs> the asphaltine onset, uh, the asphaltine safe zone and asphaltine stable zone are here. So here. In this area, let me remove this um, first one because it's only characterized. Okay, so in this area, the asphaltine is not our, it's not stable, but in this area, the asphaltine is actually stable. Okay. Um, now I want um so for example I'm working my working conditions it as at 60 degrees and 200 bar if I add this to the graph that means that this is my working condition and as you can see I'm in the asphaltine stable region and I want to know how much asphaltine I form if I work at this condition to do that you need to simply go to the asphaltine content you get the same Features here, choosing a fluid, 
the indicators whether the fluid has been characterized or tuned uh, let me this font so I get two green lights the units the phase distribution because it's a content calculation you need you can specify whether you want to know the content in weight percent weight fraction or more percent or more fraction so my operation conditions as I say was 60 degrees and 200 bars just the operation conditions and then simply press run so when I press run it tells me that the asphaltine weight percent formed at these conditions is only one percent it is formed and this is the composition of the asphaltine phase and this is <coughs> the asphaltine rich phase so this is the content of the calculation this is basically phase equilibria of asphaltine and um, you can see the molar phase fraction compressivity factor and density and the equation of the state used you can save it to database export it and <coughs> or you can copy it to um, to an a text or an excel file likewise the precipitation curve does exactly the same calculation but it does over a ranges of temperature or pressure so for example if i'm working at 60 degrees and i have my pressure temperature fixed at 60 degrees and i want to ch see the changes in the asphalt information by changing the pressure so what i want to do is that by five um, incremental steps from one bar to four five hundred bars i want and i'm working at 60 degrees i want to see the changes in the asphaltine um, uh, formation so i just need to add this incremental step the temperature and i press run okay now as you can see at fixed temperature asphaltine content t fixed temperature fixed by increasing the, the, the pressure the asphaltine content increases then gradually decreases so below 60 bar as you can see in here below 60 bar you won't have any asphalt in because you are in the asphalt in, in the safe zone but after this pressure the asphalt in starts to form and the content will change Again, if you want to keep the pressure fixed, if you want to, for example, if you are working at 100, 100 bar and you want to see the effect of temperature, you can see that by from, uh, for example, 5 degrees to 200 degrees by 2 degrees difference incremental step and then see how much would be the effect. Create a new tab and as you can see, at 100 bar, you will have from first uh, from first uh, you know the beginning of the um, of the of the of, of the range which is at five degrees you are inside five degrees you're inside the asphaltine um stability zone you will have hydrate but by increasing the temperature at around um 80 degrees let me check 100 degrees yeah around 80 degrees this is the asphaltine onset the um, asphaltine um, content form disappears and you won't have any asphaltine. So by increasing the temperature at a fixed pressure, the asphaltine form um, reduces. Again, like other graphs, you can add any point to this. You can, you, you can uh, work with the um, um, uh, graph handles. And can remove the graph you can add point and you can always export it to excel or export the image 